Practice unit assessment number one, national five, expressions and formulae. I'm going to do questions six and seven, and they make up the standard 1.3, which is the kind of third outcome uh, for national five. Okay, so what I've got is I've got a more complicated fraction uh, with some brackets in it here. This part here tells me that x just doesn't equal minus four and shouldn't really be included in the working that you're going to do. Uh, question 7, what I've got is I've got a fraction subtraction here and what I've got is a fraction and a division, okay? And it could be any of the operations that we have there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do question 6. Okay, so for question 6, what we've got is I'm going to expand the bottom bracket. Um, because that's squared, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that into two, two brackets on the bottom because that x plus 4 squared just means x plus 4 times x plus 4. What I'm going to do is on the top and the bottom I can see uh, an x plus 4 and an x plus 4 I'm going to cancel them out and from there really what I'm doing when I do that I'm dividing the bottom by x plus 4 and that'll be once x plus 4 on the top would be once and what I've got left on the top is my final answer and x plus 4 on the bottom and that completes the question. Okay. I'll move on to question number seven. And question number seven was the fraction division. We'll go for part A. Uh, fraction division and also subtraction. The subtraction would be first. So I've got three over A minus five over B. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply this side by B. I'm going to multiply this side by A. So I'm multiplying by the opposite denominator. Okay, so three B minus 5 times a will give me 5a and what I'm going to do is I'm put it all across a times b which is ab okay can't simplify that any further so that's going to be my final answer for part a let's go on to b for part b it's a fraction division okay so I've got f over 5 I'm going to divide that by e over g okay right then so for fraction division what I'm going to do for dividing fractions, I'm going to flip and change the second fraction. So I'm going to flip it over and change the sign. Okay, let's just do that. So this one stays the same, the first one. I'm going to flip this fraction over. So it's going to be G over E. And I'm going to change the sign to times. Remember when we times, we multiply straight across the way. So that's going to give me FG on the top and I'll get 5E on the bottom. Okay, and that's that completed. So let's see where the, the marks come from here. So we're going to get a mark, one mark for question six, and it's for all of this here, so the final answer. Okay, for 7a, I'm going to get one mark for getting the denominator right, and then the, the other marks for the numerator being right. For 7b, I've got uh, multiplying by g over e, so that's basically knowing how to divide fractions, and then finally getting the correct answer at the end. And that's outcome 1.3.